and I'm here with my buddy Joe, and we're gonna talk about how the Cobots have taken off truly over the last four years, and all the different industries that it, you know, educates and caters to and supports and helps grow with this massive skills gap that we have you guys are amazing at supporting the industry as a whole so Tony, Joe, what thank a, you so what much a setup what a setup that's fantastic yeah we are having a great time uh, this is a good time in space for automation industry uh, we're at a metal fab expo which is also a very good place to be uh, we're, we're really seeing an explosion in the arc welding applications, along with our traditional machine tending, anything from press brakes to machine tools and everything in between. Uh, so it's really been a good run for us. Yeah, well, we're at Fabtech, as you mentioned, and I used to think it was fabulous technology. And <laughs> it then is, it, it is. But, well, I got to the booth and then I rethink it again as yeah. fabulous technology. Now, Joe, in your opinion, with this big upscale of automation that's going on on a global rate all over the world, and people are just getting introduced and some have been in the game for a little while. Do you find that a lot of it is about educating, removing fear, uh, creating confidence, simplicity in the whole concept itself and allowing people to be confident in that simplicity? That's a big part of it, but the number one driver is right now the manufacturing labor crisis. Manufacturers of all types and sizes are struggling to hire. Uh, anybody from machine operators to arc welders and everything in between. And it's getting to the point where if you're a plant operator or owner of a contract shop or a manufacturing facility, you're second guessing yourself about getting your production completed. And it's a really difficult place to be. And so it's helping people explore the options for automation. And once they come to our house, we can actually show them how easy it is, how quick they are to deploy, what quick return on investment they can generate. So Joe, this interview is about you, it's about you are, but I'd like to share a personal story with you if it's all right. <laughs> Absolutely. So I was just at a company that's over 100 years old and half of their machines in there are around 50 years old. They just put a UR on one of those stamping machines that's 50 years old to automatically do the loading and unloading of those pieces. Absolutely amazing, shared it with everyone. So it really is one of those situations where if we have a new machine, if we have an old machine, everything in between, reducing that skills gap, allowing it to be simple, you've nailed it on the head already. But thank you so much for doing that and educating the world on how to become you know, more proactive and productive in a machine shop in a simple way. It's making a big difference. And you talk about the legacy machines, that's historically been one of the big challenges for traditional automation. Because legacy machines were never installed or laid out to support automation. Perhaps they were too close together, operators might work back to back. But with collaborative automation, you can go ahead and install cobots into that confined space, operate them safely, and still automate your existing processes and your old machines. And you basically give life to that old machine. Absolutely correct. And just you know, sometimes I skip over this part thinking we all have knowledge and everything, right? And when you say what we're doing with these cobots, I would like to just real quickly talk about how a cobot is caters to the safety of people as well versus something like a robot. Would you like to touch base on that real quick for the audience that's really just getting into new into this? Absolutely. If you're not familiar with collaborative technology, there's, a, there's just a couple main attributes. First of all, because of their sophisticated control architecture, they can operate safely side by side with skilled human operators in a shared workspace. Now this requires a risk assessment. You really have to pay a little attention to what you're doing, but it happens all day, every day. About 85% of the robots that you, uh, Universal Robots ship operate in collaborative mode. So that's number one. Number two is they, from the ground up, were designed to be easy to use, easy to program, easy to deploy, and more importantly, easy to redeploy. We have a lot of customers that actually treat their cobot just like a tool, and they move it from process to process depending on their workflow for that given day. It's that kind of flexibility that delivers huge payback. Very, very nicely said, Joe. I do appreciate you just kind of stretching that out because there are some people that are still questioning what to do, but robots and cobots, collaborative robots that allow us to be safer, that communicate yep. with us in a really efficient way. Just a couple of touch off points and we're good to go. We're running now. I'm, I'm simplifying it more than probably you, we should, but it is very easy. But the truth is, the truth is we invite people to invite your universal robots distributor. 
uh, or UR Plus partner or integrator to come into your facility and ask for a live demo. If you will give us one hour over lunch, bring representatives from your engineering and manufacturing team, we will leave you with the confidence that you can deploy this technology in your plant successfully. I believe you, and I believe that so much so that I've been taught by a few of your guys on how to use these, and I would bet on it too. Tony, it you're dangerous. <laughs> now you're dangerous. <laughs> incredible, incredible technology. So Joe, I think it's probably one of those things that everyone knows already, especially with something like Google, but I don't like to just assume, right? So for anyone out there who's interested in finding out more about Universal, you are, where would they find you on social media, websites, any of that kind of stuff? Where would you have them look you up? You can find us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. However, the best place, the richest resource to learn about collaborative robot technology is our website, universal-robots.com. We have over 150 case studies about actual applications and payback that companies are generating. We have uh, an application builder that will let you explore and trial run your own application. We have an online training academy, no charge. In two hours, you can learn the fundamentals of programming and operating the Universal Cobot. It's really the best single resource. It's universal-robots.com. Absolutely perfect, Joe. Thank you so much for saving some of your time for MTD, sharing this story, and supporting an industry in dire need of additional help. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming, Tony. Take care.